An experienced speaker recognizes the techniques of another experienced speaker. And Fernando really brought it today. How do I know he brought it? First of all, he used a visual aid. And as someone who has used and misused <laughs> visual aids many, many times, I know so much that can go wrong. Maybe the venue is different than you expected, and people in the back can't see it. But that wasn't the case for Fernando today. His visual aid was bold, included colors that are easily seen from all parts of the room, and was simple enough for the audience not to get lost in. However, one area that Fernando might consider in the future have that visual aid set up right from the start of the speech. Because that three seconds he took to set up was a three second transition that we didn't need. We came here to see Fernando. The visual aid is just for support. He could have done the speech just as well without it and having a smoother transition sets up the rest of the speech so nicely. What did I love about the speech? I love the extended metaphor of the car and crashing. You might forget the details he shared with you today. That metaphor will stick. It'll stick with me. How many of you have crashed? Well, there are physical crashes and emotional crashes. Powerful stuff. None of us come up with that by accident. It takes planning. And we so appreciate the care and the planning you took taking us on that journey through crash and also through success. Another area that I noticed with Fernando's speech was that he's really strong in vocal variety. His volume goes up and he often has a soft tone of voice as well. He conveyed emotion effectively. But an area that Fernando might consider for the future is not only varying his tone and his volume, but also the rate of his speech. Because Fernando got into a rhythm of speaking. And what happens when you get into a rhythm, you sometimes lull the audience. He's too good a speaker to bore us, but if we're lulled, we might miss something. And so sometimes, Fernando, you can take that deliberate pace and push it in an unexpected moment, because audiences respond well to what they don't expect. And if they know you're cautious and deliberate, and then you speed up at the end of your speech and take us to the moment of that crash, now you own that audience, just like you own the floor. Love the visual aid, love the extended metaphor, speed up when it's time to speed up. Contest master.